other one is. Um, just stick with those two. Um, really, the ones that I like the best is the Primo Sculpey. It's a little bit more... Um, it's not as hard. If you go with just the plain Sculpey that they that Sculpey makes, I don't like it. It it tends to crumble when you bake it. Now, I've been watching um, other YouTubers, and they say you know sometimes blending different brands together actually is better. And I've done that too. And uh, so you can use them together if you have several different types. Um, and you don't like one, like I don't like this one very much. It, it just is not working out for me as well as I'd hope. Um, mix it with another color, or uh, not another color, but another brand in the same color or something similar. And uh, it seems to, to work. So that's probably how I'm going to have to go forward with this. Okay, so right now I'm making the head of the uh, Venus flytrap. I'm going to pinch those. So I'm kind of making it into like a kidney bean shape. Now, am I going to be able to put, I don't know if you can see it on here, but these things have little hairs. That's what holds the bug in into its little clasp claspers. <laughs> now, let me open it up so you can see this. There we go. These little clasper thing, they shut. And that one shut, and I don't know if it's because I touched it, or maybe it was shut before. I don't know. You have to be careful. But, um, hopefully it won't die just because it shut. Hopefully it'll open back up. I don't know a whole lot about them. I just think they're so neat. Um, so this is what I'm making. I'm making the head, whatever you want to call it. You can see one right there. I'm going to make that, and then I'm going to go ahead and bake it. Now, before you bake it, I meant to tell you this with this one. Since I left it overnight, I needed to leave it overnight, I went ahead and baked it. If I had wanted to color it, though, I would have had to color it before I baked it. Um... The only way I can color this now is to paint it, um, and that is the only way. So, and I didn't think about doing that. I was going to. All I knew is I had to hurry up and go. I had to go to work, so I went ahead and just baked it for like 10 minutes. Um, I need to bake it probably for a little bit more because um, this is pretty thick. So when I bake these, I'm going to go ahead and put this in there too for probably another 10 minutes just to make sure that like this part of it where it's thicker it's thin on this on this end and thicker on this end and so this side is going to need a little bit more cooking I don't know if it's a big deal but uh, that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to go ahead and bake it a little bit more okay guys to make this look more realistic I've decided to use some super or let's see what is this crazy glue and bristles of a makeup brush and what I'm doing is I'm taking off the bristles just pulling it out all you have to do is just tug on it and those bristles will come out I've got some right here and I'm taking suit or crazy glue and as you can see on this one it's still drying I've just super glued them on there and when it dries I'm gonna just go ahead and trim them um, and then do the other side I can only do one side at a time because they're so long um, and so that's as close as I can figure out how to make it look like a Venus flytrap okay guys so here it is after I've glued it on I know it looks kind of shabby at this moment, so I hope after it dries I can fix it a little bit. So I don't know if you can see. The hair idea, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much you can see of that, but 
it looks pretty sloppy I have to admit I'm hoping though after it dries I'll be able to fix it and I'll probably have to show you that in another video because this glue that I used which was um, E6000 and then also to hold it on there I used some a glue glue gun um, because the E6000 doesn't dry fast at all so what I'm gonna do right now is uh, put some glaze on the the clay part let it dry for a few minutes it also has to it takes like 24 hours for that to dry too but um, I think it'll be okay for us to go ahead and add the the uh, Venus flytrap and then we'll be finished with this project okay everybody I put this one coat on it's pretty uh, it, it's I can touch it and it'll be okay I do have to put another coat on me because it looks like I've missed a couple spots but so here's what it looks like right now And so I'm going to polish it up and stuff later. Uh, I just wanted to get this done and have you guys look, you know, may, hopefully be able to make one for yourself. So according to the instructions, we need to have a peat sphagnum moss. So the only type that I could find was... the miracle grow sphagnum peat moss um this says it retains moisture and nutrients now as i was making this i was listening to videos on uh taking care of a venus flytrap and supposedly you don't need anything with um extra nutrients or anything like that because this plant doesn't need it it gets its nutrients from the bugs so if you if you're gonna do this go ahead and get a peat moss um, or a sphag, sphag, sphagnum peat moss without anything added to it just plain old and it kind of it looks like exactly what's in this already this container it's kind of um, creamy hay looking or whatever so but for this vid purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. If it starts dying, I'll go ahead and switch it out and go find some, some of the kind that it actually needs, I guess. So, make sure the hole is not covered in the bottom because when you water it it's gotta it's gotta drain okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put some of this in here it's messy okay i sure hope this don't die out but if I see any signs of dying, I'm going to take it out immediately. And hopefully I can get this out without killing it. You know what, let me get some scissors. Cut the side. I saw a video as I was watching some man um, from another country I think I don't know he, he had a he had an accent so I mean he may not be from another, I mean it's definitely from another country but he may live here in the US who knows but he had a humongous pot of this and he said he had started out just like this um, he he thought there might have been like some 300 of these different heads and it was beautiful so beautiful so you guys will have to go check that out just look up uh, Venus flytraps 
and you most likely you'll come across it because that's how I found it. And everyone's saying that you just need to keep it moist. You don't want to overwater it. Um, and you don't want to pound it in there either. So I'm just lightly putting this in there. You don't want to cover too much of the plant either. So I'm, I'm really not going to go any further than, than that. But it already is. Um, and then it says that you need, everyone keeps saying that you need lots of sunlight. And then there's no need to feed it. it they, they catch bugs on their own. You don't need to. Um, especially in the summertime when the bugs are, are all over. Um, but if you're planting one of these in the winter time, it was suggested that these things go dormant. Um, but it is a good idea to at least put a lamp over it for maybe six hours a day so that it can keep living, or I don't know what you call it, but it still is somewhat alive, although it is dormant. Um, it doesn't die, or it doesn't go dormant completely maybe. I don't know. You can do that. Look it up. I don't know. That's kind of how I was understanding it. So, here it is. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. Um, probably, I'd like to put it outside, but it's still cold out there. So, I need to find a window right now. Where we have lots and lots of sunlight. I may end up having to move it from one window to the other just to make sure it gets enough sunlight. I would be much appreciated. And if nothing else, at least I have a, a, a pretty pot. <laughs> so here's what it looks like in the pot. I just love those little teeth. They're not teeth. It looks like hair. or I don't know. But they're like little fingers that close up around the bug when the bug gets to it. Anyways. So, you guys, I do suggest you looking at other... If you're interested in this, check out other videos on YouTube about the Venus flytrap. It's very interesting. So, there you have it. I'll do an up, update video later if it's still alive. And um, if you guys have any comments or questions, please uh, put it down in the uh, comment section below. I'm going to try to remember what all I used to make this so you guys can check that out in the description. And please like and subscribe and share and uh, tell your friends about me because it's very helpful. And if you have suggestions about different crafts that you'd like me to do um, or show you, uh, put, it, put that in the comments below too. So let's get crafting everybody. And uh, if you want to see more crafty happiness, don't forget to click that bell on the bottom and that'll give you notification of when I put it, set up my next video. And also you can find me on Instagram under crafty underscore aims and also Twitter. And I'll put all that in the description below also. So you guys have a great day and thank you for watching. I really truly appreciate it and may God bless you all. Bye.